Ready to do this job, we're gonna do a torch down membrane with a self stick base. We need to remove water that sits on this area. <clears throat> this area is where water ponds and there you can see there's still a little bit of residue of water left and water ponds here. So I'm gonna lower I'm gonna lower this part of the roof. You see this roof here? I'm gonna lower this so water would naturally flow here all around the skylight and in this area. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm setting up for that. Cut yeah, cut from here. You see where it's cut? Yeah, cut it to, cut it away, all the way to the pond. This is a half inch uh, recovery board or fiber board, whatever they wanna call it. And it's on top of plywood. So I don't have much leeway to lower this down. I don't have much leeway. Look at that. That's the plywood right there. I am not an easy. I thought it's going to be easy to lower the so section, but because of this uh, cast iron part here, the cast iron part, and the plywood being high here, uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to bring it lower. Now I can bring half an inch lower, but I'm hoping to do more than that. So. I may have to make channels, but anyway, this is my job. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm cutting this plywood just to see what's underneath there. Okay. Whoa. This, this is amazing. I wanna show you something. This house, has steel trusses steel trusses now that is true like 18 inch or 20 this is even further away wow not much I can do to lower it but I can lower it a little bit what do you do now ring scored here with the grinder I'm gonna try and break it now so I can lower just that, that quarter inch. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. So I got that broken. Okay. See? I just wanted that little lower there. I can direct the water in here. That helps a lot. Just that little bit there. Okay. That's it. So that's going to be my low point there. Okay. I grinded this down. And then I broke that ring there. Okay. Put a support in. beautiful by taking the fiber this fiber board out see the fiber board here the plywood so I took this fiber board out again half an inch of that I would like to gain a little bit more so I got a half an inch from that pool over there to here I got a half an inch to here but I don't think it's enough so I'm gonna build this this section up with half an inch of uh, fiber do this drain. I show you how I do a drain to tie into the drain. So to make the roof tie into the drain. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I want the water to, I made this, I took, oopsie. I took away the fiber board, half inch fiber board and then I broke this room here so I can get the water to flow more evenly in here. So I got a half an inch here. Okay. All right. 
little bit smaller. Okay. Right. So now, that'll fit there. All right. All right, that's my beginning. Put the tabs in there. And then um, I have my base. That fits right into the ring. Turns over like that. Okay. Now, I don't want to go. Okay. So, probably cut. Came around two o'clock this afternoon and we prepared. We built up this low sections and I tied the drain in. So tomorrow I'm gonna do the flashing around the skylights. Sun is down and we just got started. About two, three hours of work. We got the drain done and we got to start that's most important tomorrow we'll do the rest all right all right this is eight o'clock uh, january day cold 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 it is 25 degrees overnight we had some frost ice on the roof what i have to do is defrost or uh so I can we can start working. It's gonna it's gonna snow and rain on Friday. I gotta get this done. And the wind is blowing. You... All right, I've been torching the entire day, and I forgot to make a video to show you the progress. Progress. So here's what we did. We we torched this whole roof. Uh, we're putting a self-adhering base down. That is a self-adhering base, and then we torch to that.
so their small torch is handy when you want to do detail work. 